Yo, anybody who plays Clash Royale, you said look up Sky. Aurora Jolteon, you just came in here and the first thing you do is look up this game. Look at this game. No, I'm not looking up no damn Sky Children. I don't even know what the fuck that is. What the hell is Sky Children? What the hell is Sky Children? So apparently, I've sent you over 1,000 in bits. Pretty nutty. Thank you, Owl. What is the game about? Sky Children Review. Sky Children of the Light is the next title from Journey Creator, that game company. A mobile only release. From the Journey Creators? That's all I had to hear. That's all I had to hear. You said I tried to tell you, no, the fuck you didn't. All you said is Try Sky Children! Try Sky Children! My bad, I forgot to put the dollar sign in front of the $1,000. Oddity said, since you like, how about you play Sky so we can get one big cult? You said, since you like Journey. Wow, Oddity, you're actually right. Now for Oddity's... Um... Wait, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Never seen that before. Guide to cheering. What the fuck is guide to cheering? I don't know what the fuck that is. But anyway. Thank you, Oddity. At the moment, Sky Children of the Light is as close to a sequel to Journey as we may ever get. But, rather than its forebear's dusty orange land, Sky frequently takes to the clouds, allowing you to explore shared environments throughout the heavens. The first and probably most important thing to discuss is the exceptional multiplayer experience. Throughout your journey you'll see shadowy ghosts travelling the same paths as you, lighting candles ahead of you. Oh my god, it's just like Journey, you even communicate with the little pew, 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 like Morse code. You, and even completing objectives for you as they move along the same routes. Each of these ghosts is another player, and for everyone in front, there may be ten behind you. In time, you might find them journeying along with you as well. Regardless of where they are on their voyage, they're there for the same reason as you, to explore the world and restore the stars to the heavens. Similar to Journey's smaller scale multiplayer moments, there's this sense of camaraderie at play through the whole thing, sometimes beyond that of the co-op modes of most other games. Instead of forced objectives and man- It's on iPhone? It's on I Okay, I'm gonna download it right now. And Aurora, I'm adding you first. So I can block you. 
Yo, my phone battery is actually like very low. It's at seven percent. Mandatory teamwork. It all feels like a shared expedition. This sense of a shared journey is enhanced because Sky lacks the most standard methods of communication. You can't type out paragraphs in a global chat. You can't gob out instructions over a microphone. In fact, most interactions are limited to either sharing a flame by merging candles or taking the hand of another. If you do share your candle, then the character becomes visible. And if you continue to interact with them, you can then assign them a nickname so you can pick them out from the crowds later on. In addition to other human players, you come across the ghosts of those who came before. By tracing... It's on the Switch too. My iPhone has like 16 million gigawatts. The Switch has one gigawatt. It got ported to the Switch, but just a heads up. Unless they fixed this by now, you will be burning your fingers playing this with how hot the phone gets we running. Are you new to Sky? Yes. Sound is more than half the experience. I can't play this shit now. I'll play it later. Don't worry. I already downloaded it. So I'm definitely going to try it out. Now it's all about the gigawatts. In their steps and observing their story, you can learn gestures, which can then be deployed at will. These gestures are exclusively for communication, but they add to the multiplayer fabric, which makes the game more than just an artistic 3D platformer. Of course, the game isn't just captivating because of the friends you make along the way. My guy, Each of the levels the from the tiniest cluster of three islands. Is that like amperes measured in tit fat? I actually just said it so I could sound cool. I have no idea what the fuck it is. Islands through to larger, sweeping, frozen wastes have their own identities. Each of the areas are broken up into smaller instances. While some of these are large and sweeping, especially a skiing style one later on, many are small puzzle based areas. It's a strange contrast, the big open levels versus the small closed instances. We started to notice that later levels felt walled in, while early levels felt wide because they were surrounded by unreachable oceans or blankets of cloud. You can finish your first run as a three or four hour experience, and there's an emotionally satisfying ending in place to tie a bow on your quest. There's also a secondary ending available for those who want to invest more time into the exploration and the multiplayer. But even if you just finish the game once, we reckon it's worth it. Sky Children of the Light is a beautiful experience, which delivers much more than a standard 3D platformer and builds on Journey's unique multiplayer system. Go grab it and bring a little wonder onto your phone. It's a very 4 out of 5, a 5 out of 5, a 3 out of 2. Three out of two? Bitch, what?